I'm curious, um, your relationships with the books right now, do you guys like uh, staying in the moment with them or do you kind of like to read ahead and see what happens next for them? Um, I, well, <laughs> that's interesting because I think you can look at it the same way as you look at a script. Uh, for me, I read all the books before I started because I wanted to know the the journey and I wanted to know the arc and it's the same as a script like it would be nice if everything was shot in order and uh, you didn't have to read ahead and you could like be in the moment but I think it's just with the realities of filmmaking it's not practical or feasible uh, so I read ahead. Yeah I have a pretty different process to Joe especially given the first book being written from Tessa's perspective it was a conscious decision for me to not read the books and because unfortunately the scripts just simply cannot encompass everything that's in the books I yeah as I say made a conscious decision not not to read them and really make my source material be only the script but having Anna Todd so close with us all the time she's kind of our go-to rule book for making sure we stay stay in line with the books that's really interesting and it's interesting that um you have like the um like you have the inner voice of Tessa to kind of work off of um <laughs> is there something specifically about um that that kind of helps you that the script maybe doesn't give you? I think just, uh, well, yeah, when you have, uh, when you've got a thousand, two thousand, I don't know how long it is, but pages of someone's like internal dialogue, you really just get to know their, their thinking process and how they react in certain situations. And just, it's, um, it's just sort of like having a, a window into someone's brain, uh, just in a general sense. I think it's really helpful.